hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel my name is james bobo so today i have a pharmacy system that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you will like it so if you're new here just consider subscribing i will really appreciate it. so i'm going to start i'm going to open this one okay so i'm going to run that server okay the server will be started at that point and we're going to open that on a browser okay basically this is just uh, the dashboard right here you can see medicine uses and other uh, several things so i'm going to start by overview then we're going to do it practically so pos this is basically the the cell window this is where you sell your products so this the medicine scene will be registered here and then uh, you can be able to click that and they can be able to be added here then you can also be able to give some discount here and then you can have a calculator there you can you can pay with multiple payments like mpesa bank and other and again you can be able to, to pay in cash right there also we can be able to deal with sales return so we'll be doing that so let, let's go back here so we're going to start by here so home is just this uh, the home page uh, right there the dashboard uh you can have a profile that's right again you can be able to, to go to admin and be going to that but i'd like us to start with medicine so basically this is where you register new medicine and this is where they'll be registered so if the stock is available meaning that the stock is above the red quantity then you'll have a green button saying that the stock is available so if uh, the stock is below uh zero meaning it's a negative that's why you can be you can see these ones so that one is out of stock but if a, a product is below the the right quantity but it's not it's above zero so it will tell you that uh, you need to add some stock so basically you can also be able to update on this one so you can be able to click on that and you can be able to add so i'm going to add a medicine i'm going to register just a single medicine for demonstration purposes so this one you can call it uh you can call it youtube med youtube med med okay something like that just for testing then we say that it will, it will be measured in pieces then we say categories a pain killer and then the manufacturer is there so this one also can be populated dynamically these two category and manufacturer the expiry date you can choose whichever and then the buying price you can see this one is 200 and the selling price is uh, something like 300 uh, that's right and the quantity that we have is just 20 the right quantity is five you can describe uh, this medicine maybe one times three pitch again anything so then we finally submit that so right now we have submitted that the, and if we scroll down here you can be able to see that that medicine was added here 300 that's right so i'm going to come here to pos so basically the, this is where you said this is the terminal of setting so you can click on this button to create whatever is here that the client wanted to buy so you can just click on that so you can see it's empty right now so basically you can register a new customers here you can call uh, this on youtube youtube uh, client you can see that then you need a phone a phone and uh, you need another mask so we have registered the uh, youtube client like that so assuming that uh, you need this medicine so you just click on this medicine so you can see that uh, this medicine that we have just registered uh, the quantity that we want to buy is one so we can be able to add by clicking on this button and then when we add this number is multiplied by this price and we see that we are supposed to have 600 so if we click mini like that you can be able to see that uh, right now uh, we have 11 uh, and single one is 300 so it's 3300 so if you click on uh, a product choice i'll many times the number will increase here so assuming i want several so i'm going to click in hurry so assuming that these are medicine the good names of medicine so these are all for demonstration purposes that's why you see they're not that uh, meaningful so as you can see now we have several so the total of this medicine is 3790 and we can be able to remove the one that we don't want by clicking on that button we can be able to remove like that so you clicking on that button you can see that uh, the number the amount is reducing right there so again uh, you can be able to open the calculator and perform something that uh, 
uh, you want to know maybe that 6 times 9 is equal to 324 and finally you can clear you can also cross let's try so basically after adding uh, the product that the client want we can pay in multiple pay right here we'll be paying in multiple pay right now so assuming that there is uh, something called mpesa mobile money so there is that reference number that you get so you can resemble something like that and then you can give the description you can describe that and finally you can submit on this one so if i submit on this one this chart will be uh, the cut will be cleared and the receipt will be automatically generated so it's this the first one this one so if i open that one so we'll be able to see that uh we can see that we have even the youtube med that we have just added so these are the medicine that the client want right here so this is the medicine name the price and the quantity so if you multiply that you get this one so again uh if we had given some discount here we could be having uh the total minus the discount but right now we have a zero discount that's why you see the amount is still the same so we have a vat 14 percent of the total which is 506 and uh, we have that information uh showing that uh, who served you so basically these are receipts uh, of the medicine that have been bought i'd like us to sell another time and then this time you're going to give some discounts so i'm going to click on that and click on that i select on several just like that so basically i have those ones and i decide to give a discount so we can ha we can have two actual discounts the first one is actual actual is that uh, if we have 819 and decide to give an actual discount of 100 so it will be 819 minus uh, 100 so then i'm going to submit that so as you can see that uh, 819 minus 100 is equal to 719 that's right and again we can be able to delete that discount right there but i would like this one to have a discount so it's actual discount and then uh, we have it 100 percent like that so finally hit on submit so finally i'm going to click on multiple pay and this time i'm going to pay through bank maybe we have a check reference here so we can have check number there that's right and then we can have description right there and finally we can submit that so that thing is submitted so i'm going to come here so right here you can be able to see that uh, uh the total was supposed to be 819 but we gave a discount of 100 so the the total now is 719 and again 14 percent of the total is equals to that that's right so the other one is that you can be able to sell in cash uh cash payments so assuming i'm just going to add many of this medicine just clicking on them they'll just be added and again you can be able to search on here so if you wanted the youtube med you just search on that again you have this one so you can search but for me i'm just going to select them so assuming we have those one so if you don't want to pay in this multiple you can just click it on cash right there so again this medicine will be sold in, in cash so let's just see that so if you come here you see that uh, this one is total paid is uh in cash and it's 790 and again uh 14 percent of uh, the total is 124. so basically that's how you sell so we can have a sales return sales return is where you had sold something and somebody returned that so we're going to deal on this one so when i click on this one uh, i require a receipt number so we're going to take one receipt number and come here and see if that's possible so if i go to sales receipts and then we see we have this one seven uh 1157 11 57. so if i come to here and then i search on that receipt 1157 so there's a receipt by that uh, we'll be able to see the content of that receipt so this is the concept content of that receipt we can deduct on the, the, the product that have been returned so like this one you click on minus you see that uh, that one is removed already and you click on that one again that one is removed so we have adjusted several and so you can see the total was much higher and right now we have 770 again we can complete this one we can be able to update that receipt again but it's only the super user who can be able to do this because the cashier cannot do this you can compromise the mathematics okay so that's how you deal with sales return so let's go back there so you can also be able to see today's sales what have you sold today so you can come here so you see this risk these are the product that you have sold 
right there. So it will be showing that uh, even the total that you have sold minus uh, the selling price and the profit that you have just made. That's very right. It's okay. It's okay. So basically, that's how you deal with that. So right now, if you don't have a product, you'll be have you'll be having that thing that is bouncing there. But when you add that product, it will disappear. And again, you can clear on this chart. Something else finally that you can do, you can be able to uh, maximize this one to fit the screen. That's very right. And uh, you can also be able to escape this one. So you can also click on this button uh, to go back to normal. So the other thing that I would like to show you that is super cool is that uh, we can be able to import medicine populated in an Excel sheet, which will save us time. So rather than just registering each and every med medicine each and every time. So the sales return will be shown here. Uh, it will be dealt with here. Also new purchases right there. So we can be able to to add new purchases of our medicine. Maybe we can do that. Uh, for demo purposes, you select the supplier who have brought those products, the new purchases, then you hit on submit. So you, you search on the medicine that have been brought by that supplier. So maybe it's Maramoza, and then you select another one like Panado, you click on that one. So uh, after adding all the medicine here, how many quantities have been brought? So you click on this edit button, so the quantity, you can see it's 100, and the buying price is still 100. So when we, then we submit that. So you can see that the pound or the quantity that have been brought by this supplier is 100 and the buying price is done. Again, we can be able to click on this one and say that this one is 200 and the buying price is still 200. That's right. Then finally we submit that. So the total that have been brought by these suppliers is uh, 50,000 right there. And then finally we can complete these purchases. So this quantity will be added and uh, I would like us to just note how many Panadol we had before we, ha we added new purchases. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to medicine and uh, we're going to search for uh, Panadol. So even it's here. So you can see the quantity we have is 847. 847. So I'm going to hit on complete here. So right there it's completed. Then I'm going to refresh on this tab. You can see now that the Panado is 947 and the Maramoza have increased to 354. So that's how you deal with new purchases. So new purchases, you deal the, them like that. So the last thing I would like to show you guys is that uh, uh, we can be able to import medicine populated in an Excel sheet. That's right. So what you could do is that uh, I'm going to come here, I'm going to go to medicine. So I would like to export this one. The medicine that we have, we're going to export the Excel format, just like that. Then I'm going to open this one. Okay, so basically these are the medicines that we have. They have been exported. So I would like to change these names a bit so that we can be able to import them. So I'm just going to type anything so that uh, we save time. Okay. So I'm just changing the names of the medicine because they, they are the ones that should be unique like that so assuming those are the medicine name then i'm going to save this one then i'm going to save that format uh, two or three so finally i'm going to import those medicine so i'm going to come here and import and click on that choose file and then we're going to go to downloads and then medicine right there and then the format that we have remember we had chosen this one so i click on submit so if we have some error, it will not go through. Like right now, you can see that we have line number five unique constraint failed. So you find that uh, we have not changed that line. So we're going to go that again. So it's a downloads. Finally, we're going to open this one. And the field this one are too many. So we're going to change. We can change up to number four. So I'm going to delete this one like that so we only have two so we save again so we click on that one then we choose on the file that we want so it's that one and finally we click on submit so as you can see that uh, we have this one but again uh, it was YouTube now but uh, 
we are updating that name to this one that's why you see the first one that is cancelled but if we had a new name that does not exist it will not be an update operation but rather than it will be a create operation so when i click on this one the youtube name will be changed to this one so finally i can confirm import so basically you can see these two have been changed the name have been changed so basically that's how you deal with the uh, import and export basically uh, you can do more but i believe that one is just an overview of how the system should work so thank you very much so if you're new please kindly consider subscribing i would really appreciate and again i promise if uh, i reach 1000 subscribers i'll be giving some source code away so you can choose on the system that you want me to share with you guys and i'll just publish the the source code thank you very much thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified each and every time that I release another video. You can share this one. Thank you very much.